Crow, why are you reading a children's book? Oh, it's because I'm trying to learn Japanese, and I figured grabbing my son's children's books and reading it is probably going to be the best way to learn it. You know, Crow, that's actually pretty good of you. My instruction booklet is completely in Japanese, and maybe you can review it and see if you miss any parts or anything. Because, God damn it, I feel like something's missing inside me. Well, yeah, a lot is missing inside of you. You're a toy robot. I don't even know how you're alive, but here we are. So, wow, thank you for that, Crow. I'm sorry, Steve. It's just that this book is really aggravating me. I can't comprehend it. And all these monster attacks recently, it's just henshin at the henshin. That's all it is. So, I, I just feel a little, you know, stressed out. I get it, Crow. Well, at least no monster's gonna come in here until our headquarters and start wrecking havoc. Huh, someone's knocking on the door. I wonder who that can be. Yeah, I have no idea, honestly. Oh, shit! Oh my god, it's a goddamn monster. Steve, get the driver. Uh, Crow, it's, it's actually not here. I kind of I kind of brought in my girl's house to uh, to impress her. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, Steve, how are we going to fight the monster now? Look, Crow, I don't have all the answers. But if this is anything like an episodic monster series, I'm pretty sure it's all going to work itself out. Ah. Uh, uh, episodic monster series? Uh, I got eternal bleeding, you bitch. Oh, my organs. I'm sorry, Crow. I didn't mean for this to happen. If I have one request, it's that you read me that pop-up book. What? The one pop-up book right there. The one conveniently placed right in front of us. Uh, God damn it, Steve. That's a dog. Oh, he goes boo. Keep reading. And there's a dragon that goes... Brave dragon? Steve, is this, is this a new Henshin device? There's only one way to find out, Crow. I think it's time to Henshin. You're damn right, Steve. Let's go ahead and beat this monster. Wow, so this, this must be the driver. Oh shit, it's a book. I never learned to read. Hey shit. Now this is a hit shit. Alright, monster, it's just you and me. Ugh. How do you even find me? With this new driver, I, I know I can definitely defend myself. But man, where are these monsters coming from? We got some work ahead of us, Steve. Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. So, thank you all for watching the skit. Honestly, I hope that you all enjoyed it. It was a pleasure making it, and I do wish I could have put a little more effort into it, uh, but there's so many other things I'm trying to review, and I have like a lot of time crunches with these reviews. 
So it just wasn't feasible to span across a bunch of days. Uh, but I do hope that you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more skits and just more Kamen Rider stuff in general on the channel, let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. Now the driver I use is actually the new Kamen Rider Saber driver. This is going to include the Sekken Sword Driver, which is this, and then also the Susikin Nagare emblem and Lion uh, Senki Wonder Ride book. Now the ride book, I actually did not use this, I only used the Brave Dragon book. So uh, in the future when they release maybe more of like the figures and all that, I'll get around to reviewing the Lion Senki. But in time being, let's go ahead and take a look at both the Driver and the Brave Dragon book. Now what we have first is going to be the Brave Dragon, so let's take a look at inside. So it has a QR code and it's going to have this really nice looking dragon. And if you go over here and you press this, and that's basically just like an uh, introduction. And right here is going to be the button where it clicks into the Driver itself and it makes these noises. Yeah, it's basically for the final rider kick. And here's the driver itself. Really nice gold right here in the front. Very shiny. Obviously prone to fingerprints. But the base of it is just kind of just bare plastic. Nothing really going on with this electronically. It's just, yeah, pretty much a plastic container. And here is Saber Sword. Honestly, it's obviously like a dagger to us because this is kind of like made for kids. But it'd be really cool if uh, the CSM ever comes around and make it like an actual, you know, full length sword, which would be fantastic. But in the meantime, this will work and this is kind of the component for the driver. But overall, it, this is what makes everything tick. Gonna house three AA batteries right behind here. So make sure you have that ready. Uh, but yeah, you got your trigger right here. You have kind of like a, you know, infrared part right here that activates with the books. And then this is detachable, so you can put the other Kamen Rider's emblems right here. And then to activate it, we just turn it on. And press the trigger, it just makes little slashes. And obviously this right here is going to light up. Alright, so for the henshin, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sheath the sword. Plug the brave dragon right into the driver. Now you get the henshin sound. And henshin. And there's that. Now to activate the final attacks, all we're going to do is sheath it back again, and we're going to press the trigger. And you get that chime. So, we're going to sheath it back again. Press it once. Press it twice. And there's that. And you can always just push this back. It's going to activate this. Now behind here is actually a sensor that's going to be for this book symbol. So you can just do this. That's one. All right, and you can do once more. One, two. All right, do it three times. One. And that's pretty much it for the sword driver. And also I did get this zero one book that is gonna be for the left arm. It's pretty cool, nothing really too special going on with this. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of activation noises itself, but it does activate when the driver is inserted. So, pretty cool. I would like to see this in action, maybe in a future Kamen Rider movie. 
Uh, otherwise, it's just kind of like a little fun gimmick thing, but this is a free promotional product. Now for my final thoughts, honestly, this is a really cool driver. It's not as cool as like the Zero One driver in my opinion, but I think it is really nice and just really fun to play with. Uh, it has a lot of different gimmicks and it, the functionality is just really cool. Now this is the DX version, so it is gonna come with the book, the Lion Senki, and it's gonna come with the Senki emblem, the blue one, so yeah, it's really cool and all. Uh, you also are gonna get the little belts. So not the canisters because that's gonna be a separate product. All right, here is the Rider Kicks figure that was used in the video as well. It is a really cool figure. Now, the first thing I am gonna mention is that this is 100% not worth 2,200 yen. I really just got this because I really just wanted it for the video. I, like in all honesty, that's what I wanted it for. But you know, messing with it, it's not a bad figure whatsoever. If you've ever had a Rider Kicks figure before, you're getting the same quality. I would say maybe it's a little bit better than the previous ones before Zero One, but for the most part, it's it's definitely not worth over twenty dollars. The front cover looks good though, honestly no issues here, it's a, actually a really good cover art box. And just going to the side, you see one of the rider kick moves, and then here you just see him slashing with the blade, and it just shows you have like the blade over here, but uh, that's pretty much it. Over here it's just going to show you all the various ones that came out throughout the years, which is cool. I don't ever really see myself getting these because of the fact that you can get the, um, the SH figure arts of them, so there's kind of like no point to get those now. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at the figure. And here he is looking all menacing and pretty pretty good, to be honest. I, I don't really have too many issues with this except for the driver not being fully painted and the saber not having the other side painted. But realistically, it's a fine looking figure. So take a look at the details for the head. It looks good. Honestly, I have no issues with the head sculpt whatsoever. It, it basically looks like Kamen Rider Saber. Uh, the paint is pretty spot on. Don't really have too many issues. You got the white, you got the gold right here. Um, you know, the front all, all around looks pretty spot on. I love the asymmetric design of Saber. So coming down to the body, honestly, it's going to look really good. You do have the driver right here with the Saber attached. It, looks okay design wise like the details are all there but it's obviously going to be missing any kind of paint whatsoever so you know for 20 bucks i just don't see why they couldn't paint this up because you're paying a lot of money for a figure that barely comes with any accessories and it just lacks a lot of details and articulation overall like in comparison to sh figure arts so i don't see why they couldn't just paint that for you or at least something you know maybe even include the uh, the pages of the book right inside here that would have at least been pretty good but just going on to the arms the arms look pretty good as well no issues whatsoever the dragon looks good but the eye is only going to be in the front you're not going to have the eye painted in on the back coming down to the legs you're going to have the little skirt right here and uh the legs that's pretty much it you know legs are looking really good uh overall detail is pretty much spot on now for articulation, you are going to have this ball joint for the head. Arms are also going to be on a ball joint and can move up that far. Rotation at the bicep. Bend at the elbow. Rotation at the wrist. Ball joint at the body. The dragon head can actually move up and down. Skirt can move up. Legs going to be on a ball joint. Bend at the knee. And ball joint at the foot. Now for accessories, you are going to get the driver with the saber attached. And also one with the saber detached. For hands, you're only going to get the red hand right here, and it's going to be for holding the saber. For black hands, you can also put the saber in this hand. You also have like this dynamic hand right here. And lastly, you have a hand with the book attached. And now looking directly at the and looking at the blade, you're pretty much going to have an all red part with the silver right here, but it's not going to have the silver on this side, which is unfortunate. But the details are looking spot on for this. So in summary, it's really a cool figure. It's nice, it has good articulation. You can put it in some pretty good poses. Um, the overall details are actually really good as well. But I still just feel it's not worth the 2,200 yen price tag. And I know it's gonna be significantly higher in the United States or just anywhere outside Japan. So I would say this is going to be a watch it. Just check and see if the price ever goes down, but this is definitely gonna be more for collectors um, but if you're just someone who likes the, you know, Kamen Rider Saber look, 
I would just recommend you wait for a better figure to come out, which will eventually come out. But other than that guys, that's it for me. If you like this kit, let me know in the comment section down below and please be sure to subscribe as well as like the video whenever you get a chance. But that's it for me, I'll be seeing you in the next episode of A Rider Through Time. Bye bye.